Gary Webb, San Jose Mercury News. You believe in conspiracy theories, Gary? No, I don't believe in conspiracy theories. Conspiracies, yes. If I believe it, there's nothing theory about it. Was the government aware that you were smuggling tons of cocaine into the United States? Yes, the government knew. This leads to very sensitive national security matters. National security and crack cocaine, the same sentence. Does that not sound strange to you? I'm going to tell you the whole truth. I'm going to introduce you to people you should talk to. And then you will be faced with the most important decision of your life. Oh, yeah? What's that? Deciding whether to share it or not. One of the DEA's most wanted brought in thousands of kilos of cocaine to the U.S. every day. For them. For who? The U.S. government. Or with them. Or at least while they were looking the other way. Jesus. L.A., New York, Atlantic. I couldn't sell it fast enough to keep up with supply. Fancy information you have there. Dangerous. What you found here, Gary, is a monster. You have no idea what you're getting into. Are you really telling me that I should just walk away from this? You'd be an idiot not to. This story scares people. I'm your big brother. Well, it should. Be careful. There are ongoing operations you're in danger of exposing. We know you were in Nicaragua. Am I being followed? Find a solution Will there you be for the revolution? I thought my job was to tell the public the truth, the facts, pretty or not. And let the publishing of those facts make a difference in how people look at things, at themselves, at what they stand for. We'd never threaten your children, Mr. Webb. What'd you say? It's over. I'm not finished with it. Not finished. This is a true story. Some stories are just too true to tell. Where you be for the revolution. Hey, what's up, everyone? Valerie here with some Hollywood news. After the successful release of X Men: Days of Future Past, all talk has now turned to X Men: Apocalypse. The plot for the film will help broaden the X-Men universe in general and will merge several cast members from the original X-Men trilogy with the 2011 prequel X-Men First Class. Director Bryan Singer has revealed that X-Men Apocalypse will be more of a sequel to X-Men First Class, featuring the younger version of the mutants set in the 1980s. X-Men Apocalypse comes to theaters May 27, 2016. And that's all for today. Subscribe to keep up to date and remember, every dog has its day. Ciao, ciao.